begin by mentioning that uh, we'll begin by mentioning that I get a lot of the same questions many times I get the same questions so I'll combine some of these together I've already found that uh, we have a number of these that are, are similar to what we get all the time <coughs> And I'll tell you the answers to that. And then we'll get into some of the ones that are a little different. One of the questions I always get is people ask me, how did you come to Islam? And what's the story behind you and the Catholic priest that came to Islam? How did that happen? So because there are so many different versions of this story on the internet, I want to tell you where you can get the real story. Okay? There's one uh, website, it's called Famous Muslims. Don't believe anything they say over there about me. I, what they say about Abdul Nasser, that's something else. But for me, I'm telling you, it, 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 the stuff in Wikipedia, it should be called Wikipedia because they don't know how to tell the truth over there. We put up a website so you can get the whole story. And I give you the before, the during, the after, the follow-up, some, uh, you know, it's in different sections. You go to yusufestis.com. That's Y-U-S-U-F. E -S -T -E -S dot com. Okay? That's the answer to that question. So don't ask me again because I'm going to tell you the website again. YusufEstis.com. That's where you get that. And if you want to write to me, I'm going to give you that too because a lot of people want to know how to contact me. What if I don't read your question tonight? You want to write, uh, write something to me? I want you to. Write to me at Yusuf, Y-U-S-U-F, at 99islam.com. That's Yusuf at, you know the at sign, that round thing with the, the circle around it. Huh? What is that thing called? Anybody know what that's called? Huh? No, the ampersand. Is that the ampersand? Is it? So it's Yusuf at 99islam.com. That takes care of that was the... All right, let's go to, here we go. Now, I get a lot of these over and over, so I'm used to answering them. Here we go. First one, Sheikh. <laughs> Sheikh means an old man with respect, hopefully. <laughs> Instead of just saying Sheba. Sheikh, do Muslims have to wear hijab? <laughs> no, not all of them. Not all of them. Not the boys. <laughs> Thought you'd like that one. Actually, it says, do the Muslim women have to wear the hijab? And the answer is still no. No. Just stay home. <laughs> I'll teach you to keep asking those questions. <laughs> you see, Islam is not like Catholicism. In, in Catholicism, the, the righteous and the good women dedicate their whole life to the Lord, that's the same, but our women can get married. In fact, our women are encouraged to get married as soon as they're old enough to have children. That's in Islam. Get married as soon as you're old enough to have children. Is that right? Yes. And the women are protected by their covering, only needed when they go out somewhere or someone is around them who doesn't need to see their body or their hair or their attraction. That's what it's all about. In Catholicism, it's a different story. Every single nun has to wear it every single day of her life, from the time she gets up to the time she goes to bed. Even if she lives in a convent with nothing else but women there, they still wear it. And they can't get married. And they can't have kids. And a ipso facto, they can't have any grandkids. I like having grandkids. That's nice. You can give them back. <laughs> is it haram to have a girlfriend <laughs> of course not these girls have lots of girlfriends <laughs> and these boys have lots of boyfriends <laughs> they're boys they're friends no problem it didn't say it was a boy that wrote it, did it? As a matter of fact, you know in Islam there's something very beautiful. It's in the Quran. It's chapter 24, verse 30. 
say to the believing men, you thought I was going to tell you about Surah an nur when it's talking about the hijab? Uh -uh. No, it's the verse before that. Say to the believing men to lower their gaze, guard their private parts. And that's better for you. That's righteous is to do that, yeah? So you don't look at women. You're not even supposed to be looking. We you talking about a girlfriend? What are you going to do? Walk in holding her hand with your eyes covered up like this? What's that? You're not even supposed to be looking. Look down, right? Huh? That's the way it is. In fact, one of the boys, he came over here from the Gulf, you know, during the, the years back and was stationed there in San Antonio where I lived at that time. We'd go to the airport, pick him up. It's the first time he'd ever been in America or anything, you know. And it, it is said in Islam that you're allowed a glance. You have one glance, oh, it's a woman, you identified that, and then you lower your gaze. So here he came in the airport, he's like, And we said, Abdullah, what are you doing? He said, don't bother me. I didn't blink yet. <laughs> no, you can't have a girlfriend. Bottom line, okay? You know that. Is music haram? Ask, you're asking the wrong Yusuf. You should ask Yusuf Islam. <laughs> He's the one who picked the guitar back up, not me. I was in the music business, I gave it up because I firmly believe that Islam is more valuable to me than making a bunch of noise and racket. <laughs> How long have you been Muslim? If Allah accepts, 17 years. And the companions of Muhammad, peace be upon him, what they used to do they counted their age by when they got to Islam. That means I'm 17 years old. <laughs> now, I like stuff like that. I like everything about Islam. I used to worry when I was uh, a Christian because I know that it's not because of Christianity, but it's just the nature of our Western culture and society. When a person gets old, we basically get done with them. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. You know, old man, hit the road. You know? Even kids today, when they get to 18 or 20, 21 like that, they're like, hey, I dealt with you all those years. Get out of my face. They talk like that. M but Muslims don't do that. In fact, the older you get, the more honor and respect you get. Even when you do the crazy things that old guys do, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to tell you. But subhanAllah, you get so much respect and honor and the Muslims don't want to throw you away. They don't want to dump you off in an old folks home and just leave you to rot. They take care of you right up to the very end. And it was my father who came to Islam after I did. And then he realized the benefit too because he used to always worry, well, will I stay? Will I have a nice place? And he used to spend his life in investing in property and real estate to be sure when I get older, I'm going to have a good place and people around take care of me. I'll have the money to pay for this and pay for that. And he lost all of it. He didn't have anything and he was losing his mind but in those days after he came to Islam he started losing his you know his ability to remember things you say something he'd say what I didn't say that you, you said no and he could remember like for instance even till he died he remembered me he would, he would see me enter the room and he would say oh you came to see me well now the room he was in was my house <laughs> And I'd say, yes, Dad. And I'd go out of the room and do something. I'd come back in. Oh, you came to see me. <laughs> so that's the condition that he wound up in. But we took care of him. And I say we because my wife and daughters really did all the work. They literally took care of him uh, like you would a baby. They did everything for him. And do you know something? It's really beautiful because I was at the computer one time sitting there typing away as I do it all the time. And... I could hear my daughters raising their voices out in the kitchen. It's your turn to do the dishes. Uh-uh, it's your turn. I did them last night. You're supposed to do them last night because you didn't do them for two days in a row. Because it's your turn. It's not, it's not. Yes, it is. No. And I said, oh, God, I'm going to get a headache. And I started walking over to the kitchen doors. You know, it's those kind of, like, what do you call those folding things that pop back and forth. And I get over there, and just as I got to the door, I said, you know, if I walk in there, as soon as they see me, they're going to say, Salam alaikum, daddy. <laughs> and I'm going to say, Wa alaikum salam, what's going on? And they're going to say, nothing. 
everything. <laughs> Am I right? That's this typical. That's what's going to happen. So why bother? And I just let them go on, and they're making all the racket. And I said, you know, I looked over at my dad. He was sitting there rocking in his chair, and I thought, you know, how many times did my dad hear that from us? How many times did he put up with us kids? And, you know, and my mom, too, for that matter. And I walked over to my dad. It's not in our culture, our habit, but, but I've seen Muslims do it. And I leaned down to him, and I kissed him on the forehead. And I said, Dad, I love you. And he said, I love you. I looked at me kind of startled. And I went back and sat down and went back at it. And I, it got quiet. It got quiet in the kitchen. I guess they worked it out, huh? And then after a while, the door opened. And I heard footsteps coming toward me, right up behind me. And as I turned around, my daughter leaned down and kissed me in the same place I just kissed my father. And she said, Dad, I love you. And she walked off and left me not knowing that I was crying, tears running down my face. And then in a little while, the other one finished up the dishes, and she came out and walked that same path, made the bead straight over to me, and kissed me again in the same exact place. Neither one of them knew I did that. And she said, Dad, I love you. And that was a sign from Allah to me to recognize the value of taking care of your parents. And this is the teaching in Islam, the clear teaching in Islam. It's just not honor your parents, but it is to really serve your parents. And this is what Islam teaches us to do. Alhamdulillah.